Well, it has been a very dry stretch here across Western Mass. In fact, as we take a look at the calendar for September, we have only seen one day this month of measurable precipitation. We are on day 16 since we've seen any rain at Barnes out in Westfield. Uh, and surprisingly, we are not in drought status, though I'm sure we're pretty close to at least abnormally dry conditions. Now, you can certainly link the early color changes, the early leaf drop that we're seeing across southern New England due to this lack of rainfall. And we actually have the the uh, latest update, this came in last night of the fall foliage. Northern New England is now hitting moderate to near peak and even peak levels, especially up toward the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont, getting into parts of northern New Hampshire and Maine, also the Adirondacks. Across pretty much all of Western Mass, we've got patchy color. So it depends on where you are, but of course, as soon as you start getting up in the higher elevations, you start to see just a little bit more color. This is actually in Chicopee. We're seeing a lot more of this, where some of those trees are starting to pop with some color early on, and some are already dropping their leaves. Thanks to Tom for sending in this photo. I want to see your fall foliage pictures, uh, so send them in. You can just use the share it feature on the Western Mass News weather app, or you can just use our website and we'll uh, like to show them off this time of year. Agawam right now showing a lot of cloud cover, a lot of green there in the backgrounds, but very little sunshine today, so temperatures are back in the 60s. A warm front's going to approach the region by Thursday, bringing us our next chance for some significant rainfall. Thursday morning into the afternoon's our best shot at it. Meanwhile, Florida is going to be bracing for possibly a major hurricane. Helene is now a tropical storm, but still set to become a Category 3 storm before making landfall. And then high pressure is going to build into the northeast. It's going to block all of the moisture from Helene. So none of that is going to come up toward the northeast. It's going to linger in the south, the Tennessee Valley, and even the Ohio Valley. High pressure is going to dig in for the entire weekend and give us some really nice weather conditions. Meanwhile, our next round of fronts on the way from the west. You can see some severe weather, actually. Parts of northern Ohio dealing with a tornado warning. Severe storms across Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, and Virginia. Your 24 showing a pretty quiet evening for us here in western Mass. We'll have a lot of patchy clouds, maybe some breaks here or there. Overnight, partly to mostly cloudy, and then tomorrow, more cloud cover. Temperatures start off close to 50 in the morning. A couple of showers possible, especially in the Berkshires, but we're not expecting much. I think most of the day will be dry. A lot of this not going to hit the ground because high pressure is still keeping us for the most part dry uh, in the mid levels and that'll just kind of eat away at the precipitation. So a sprinkle, a brief shower possible with the highest chances being later in the day, but the best chance for rain is going to come on Thursday. So we've got a cloudy day for tomorrow. We're back into the middle 60s, but Wednesday night rain approaches. We'll have a good soaking as we head into Thursday. We could see a half inch of rain here across the region. So beneficial stuff. Then we clear back out to end the week. Weekend is looking good with a mix of sun and clouds, highs in the 70s, lows in the 40s. And then we kick off the month of October tracking another round of showers. Chris and Abby.